So now that you've had a chance on your own to look at these lyrics and maybe to watch that YouTube video of the Eric Carle book, let's talk about what it would take you, given what you know right now, to animate this story. Right? First of all, we're going to need some kind of a, of a scene. We're going to have to have some sprite that's singing the song. And maybe we want to have some, from some you know, costumes uh, that show the food. And, and when you look at this, you can see already that there's going to be a lot of repetition in here, right? I mean, each day of the week looks almost the same as the day ahead of it. The only thing that changes is the actual day and the, the, the item that we're, that we're consuming. Right? So let's look at what we would do this. Uh, available to you on this page is, is this starter code right here. So you don't have to go out and find all this on your own. Uh, here is something based on what my student produced earlier. Right? We're, we're going to make this song take place in the kitchen. Uh, we're going to have this cat singing the song. And we're going to have a, a food icon that's here. So the cat, let's go move over to the cat. The cat, when the song starts, comes out and points to the right and sings, Today is Monday, and then switches over to the left and sings, Today is Monday again, and then sings, Monday is string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. Okay? And, and simultaneously, while that's happening, happening, over here we've got some food. Uh, this person had gone out and grabbed costumes for all of the seven foods in order, right? Green beans, spaghetti, soup, roast beef and so on. And if we look at what's here for the script, when the program starts, we actually hide the food for a few minutes. We switch to green beans. Uh, we spend six seconds hidden. And then eventually, the cat sings, Monday is string beans. And so at that point, we want the string beans to show up and stay on the screen for a little bit. And then when we say, eat it up, it disappears and goes away. And, and we, we have another one second delay to sort of get us to the next food item. And so if you think about what this would look like if we wanted to produce the full-blown song, we would need to duplicate this block of code seven times, right? Once for green beans, and once for spaghetti, and once for soup. I'm not going to do anything more than, than, the, than the two green beans and spaghetti. And if we come over to the cat, the cat's going to sing you know, this block of code once for Monday, and then another block of code for Tuesday. Actually, I didn't want to take the time live with you to have to go in and change. Today is you know, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday is spaghetti. So, so I cheated a little bit. Uh, over here on the side, I already have, and it's, and it's in your starter code here. Here's today is Tuesday. And so uh, let me drag this over and connect up Tuesday. And so now you can see that when we run this, right? today is Monday. Today is Monday. Monday is string beans. All you hungry children, come and eat it up. And now we say today is Tuesday. You can see down here that we've already changed the costumes to spaghetti, so that when we say Tuesday is spaghetti and it shows up, we have spaghetti. All you hungry children, come and eat it up. And if you wanted to, to, to finish this song, you'd need to take and do what I just did, right? Duplicate this five more times writing out Wednesday and Thursday and Friday is fresh fish and Saturday is uh, chicken and Sunday is ice cream. And that would get really old really fast. We'd have this really long, long list of, of code in here, uh, sequence of code, where we're just doing the same thing over and over again for the cat and basically the same thing over and over again for the food icon. And that seems really redundant. And, and I always tell my students, whenever you find yourself doing something over and over and over again, remember, computer scientists are lazy. There has to be an easier way to do it. And there is. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to take this code, this idea, and add in the idea of lists and use some automated repetition to not have us have to repeat this over and over and over again. So we'll